Salut les seven et bienvenue au carport aujourd'hui. Right guys, today is the reading exam and just like the listening, this is just going to show you how far you've come in your French this year from that very first lesson where we did like bonjour, salut, cucu, from like saying how we are and doing very small things in French to now, today, you're going to take on some really complex texts about people talking about their school, people talking about what they do in their free time, people describing their families, everything completely in French. You will be having a go at this today. And it's going to be so challenging but so rewarding. This will show you just how good and talented you are, Year Seven. And if you don't believe me, show your mom and dad what you're doing today. Say, so look at this. This is my French assessment. Say, so how much of this French do you understand? Look at their faces. They'll be so impressed with what you can do, like I am, because you have been superstars this year, and you all deserve an excellent mark today. And you'll get your mark today. Remember. None of these assessments count. We'll assess you when you get back to school. We'll have a few weeks to teach and we'll do another assessment. But today's doesn't count. You can send me your grade if you really want to. And I love getting emails. People say, I've done so well. I'm really happy. Love that. But you're under no obligation to. You don't need to do that. And that's because this is the true meaning of assessment. I want you to find out what you're good at and what you can do really well at. And also, more importantly, what you're not so good at because we all have areas we need to improve and this will help you do it. So that's what it's all about today, guys. We'll start as we always do. Donc, mes enfants, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. S'il vous plaît, Year 7, copiez la date du genre dans vos cahiers. Copiez le titre du genre. Et j'imagine que tu n'as pas de post-it. Il n'y a pas de post-it à ta maison. Donc, dans les cahiers, qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais, mon ordi, je voudrais, mais cependant, je préfère et je ne peux pas. All six of these words are in your exam today, and I don't think you know them, so you'll be allowed. I said, like, you probably don't have post-its at your house, you n'y a pas de post-it, so you can do this in your book. I'll let you have these six words only today as you do your exam. Put me on pause as you sort in your book out and you're having a go at your contrôle de post-it. When you're ready, restart the video and I'll go through the answers. Bon courage, on y va. Hello, mes petits, if you listen to me now, you've sorted your book out and you've had a go at a control de post-it, but I'm pretty sure you haven't, or you might have one or two. We're going to talk about this because all six of these words come up in the assessment today, so I'm going to help you out a little bit. But first, let me tell you what we're doing. It is the reading assessment today. We'll do a quick vocab challenge just to wake you up and get you going and to wake up your French brains. Then, for each question, I'll go through and explain the task, then you'll put me on pause, you'll go through the assessment, and then restart the video, I'll go through the answers to see what we've got. So, that's what it's all about today. Let's have a look at our contrôle de post-it. This is what you should have. So, mon ordi numéro 1 is short for mon ordinateur. Qui veut dire? My computer. So, they call computers ordinateur. Ordi is the shortened form of it. You're going to see that word today on your exam. Numéro 2. This is such an important word. When I go to France, I use it all the time. Je voudrais means I would like or I want. So you say it all the time. Je voudrais un croissant. Je voudrais un café. Je voudrais une glace au chocolat. This means I would like. It's a really key phrase. You're going to see it not just today, but every time you go to France, you'll use it for every day you're there. Numéro 3. Mais is an important word. It means but. It's one of our linking words and it's in there today as a little trick which we'll talk about later. Same thing with cependant. Ça veut dire however. So it's another trick word and it's hard to give an alternative idea for something. Numéro 5 is very similar to the English. Look at the accents. You've got to get these right if you're using this. Je préfère, like a little house, means I prefer. So Again, this is a trap today. So it will say like, uh, Julien, prefer, like Julien's favorite lesson is, and Julien will say, J'adore l'anglais, j'aime l'histoire, mais je préfère les maths. From that, you get the idea, maths. So you need to be careful. This word will come up today as a little trap. Je préfère is I prefer. And then finally, I've definitely not taught you this, and I think it's a bit mean. That they put it in here because this is a, a verb we learn in year nine. Je peux means I can, so je ne peux pas 
means I can't, like I'm not able to. Donc, je ne peux pas jouer, I can't play. It's a key phrase that you will learn later on in your Glenfawn career, but we don't know it yet in year seven, but now you do. So to say I can is je peux, and this is the negative form. Je ne peux pas is I can't, that word's going to come up today. So guys, bon effort ici, you can have these six words with you for the assessment. Now, I didn't want to go straight into it, I thought you'd appreciate a warm-up first. Alors donc, voilà, la première activité, c'est les must-knows. Pour module 2, this language comes up a lot. Put me on pause, have a little look, there's no French here at all to help you. How's your memorize been going? Put me on pause. How many of these out of 15 can you say? Restart me when you're done. Pause me now. Allons, mes petits. How many of these did you get then? Have a look at this one here. Donc, cette fois, c'est exactement les mêmes choses, mais je vous ai donné un peu le vocabulaire. Donc, do you like, aim to, like you, do you love... Adore tu voilà les mêmes choses but this time we're going to play we're going to be doing a uh, quick sound sable mouvement to see what you can do you will have 36 seconds et les mots en bleu et vert vont disparaître il faut dire anglais français anglais français anglais français aussi rapide que possible par exemple number one do you like aim to do you love adore tu drama le théâtre pi l'éducation physique oh pardon le ps French, le français, I love that, j'adore ça. Et voilà, il faut compléter les phrases pour moi. So, you know how this works. You're going to put me on pause and you're going to practice all 15. Make sure it's in your head. You cannot write down any answers. I want it all in your mind. And then when you think you're ready, restart the video. I'll count you down from three and then you've got to go for it. Today, let's say you need to survive. You survive if you get past... 12 this is the safety line past this you've won and then i mean still go for 13 14 15 they are really hard but you only need to get past 12 today to survive put me on pause prepare yourself when you think you're ready unpause the video i'll count you down and we'll go for it ready mettez moi ce pause maintenant allo mes petits if you listen to me now you're prepared and you're ready to start good luck you know this works on commence en toi de hang on, un, allez. First column's almost gone, so fast today. Et voilà. And second column's almost gone, so you're rapide. Allez, 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 allez. It's gone, right, guys, you have to get past 12. Et toi, deux, un, et c'est fini tout le monde, guys. That was a lot faster than I thought. I think that was really hard. If you've not got past 12, you might want to just rewind. This slide's two minutes long. Rewind and just have another go and see what you can do until you've got it. That is tough. All 15 of these words will come up today. This is module two must knows. Et voilà, this is module three in the must knows. Now, this is what I'm most worried about. Year seven, because this is the module we did when you were all at home, sent home with coronavirus, at all the video lessons. So you must know this vocabulary. There's 15 words here. Because we were away for it because of the virus, I've put all the full versions now for the first round. Anyway, you know how this works. Put me on pause and prepare yourself. You have to say anglais, français, anglais, français, rapidement. Let me show you how it's done. On my computer, sur mon ordinateur, I put photos on Insta. Ou je mets les photos sur Insta. I go on social media. Je vais sur des réseaux sociaux. Oh God, this is so long today. You're going to really find this difficult. Oh dear. Year seven. I am going to give you, well, actually it's down to you. Prepare yourself when you think you know all 15. Unpause the video, I'll count you down. Et après, vous avez 36 secondes. Let's say again, because this is so tough. It's tougher than last time. Past 12, you have survived. Good luck, guys. Put me on pause. Prepare yourself maintenant. On y va. Alors, mes petits, if you listen to me now, you've prepared yourself and you're ready for this. Good luck, guys. 36 secondes. En commençant. 3, 2, 1. Allez. First column's almost gone. 
Et c'est fini. Second column is going. Second column's almost gone. Allez, 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 allez. Et ça va. Deux. Un. Et c'est fini tout le monde. Alors, bon effort ici. Right, guys. We've had a warm-up of some of the vocabulary that's coming at you. Let's have a look at your reading assessment. Hello, mes petits. We've had our warm-up. Now let's get into the reading exam. You've got this attached on Frog today. And you can either work straight on that sheet on your laptop or whatever, or you can just write the answers in your book, question one, question two, A, B, C, D, whatever's fine. You're going to be marking your work today, so it's down to you to know and use the method you want. This exam is approximately 40 minutes long, so you can time yourself, but if you want to take a bit more time, that's absolutely fine. Remember, this is all down to you and, and you using the assessment or for what works best for you. Let's have a look at some key tips because today, even though you're French legends, you've worked really hard this year to get the very top marks and we're going up to a GCC grade three. That's a grade D. Now, some of our year 11s will get a D this year and they're four years older than you. So you're going to do some work at that difficulty today. To get up to those top levels, you'll need to understand some really challenging French. And at times today, you're going to think this is so hard. And, and that's because it's a good exam that's meant to stretch and challenge all of you. So here's some tips from me to you. You're going to see these a lot over the next four years. So first off, people make the mistake, right, of when they look at a big, long text, they read it in French and then they read the questions and try and answer them. Idiotant, les imbéciles, this is what you need to do. Never read the text first, you always need to read the questions first. And as I'm going through it today, I'll show you the methods and I'll show you ways that you can develop them. Annotate the questions. You might want to translate them or you might want to think, what French vocabulary am I looking for to get me that answer? And number three, I used to do this in the exams locate get your highlighters out or whatever and go through the text and look at where the answer is when i go through the answers i'm going to do that to show you what it's like this is what you need to do to check where the answers are and to see what you know and then finally you're not going to understand everything today just like the listening and the tactics you use there you need to work out the gists. If you see like a big long sentence and you don't know what most of the French says, is there one or two words that you do know? And does that give you the answer to get a good grade today? That's what you need to try and do and try and look for. Can you work out the gist? Even if you don't know the French, can you work it out? That is your challenge for today. So guys, this is what it's all about. <clears throat> I'm going to go through each activity one by one by one. We'll keep watching the video and I'll tell you when you can start and you can start your time. All right, let's have a look at question one together. Et voici le ici, c'est question 1. So you've got this on your sheet. It starts off in the green difficulty, but people still drop loads of marks on green difficulty. So listen carefully. I'm going to help you out and I'm going to go through some of the pictures as well. So it says choose the correct picture for each sentence and tick the box you've got a choice of one two three pictures look at the sentence for example j'écoute de la musique and then which one's talking about listening to music is b so that's the one they've ticked so look at the next one numéro un c'est une calculatrice which one is a calculator now if i tell you now this is a phone because some of you might have calculators that look like this and I don't think any of you will have a phone that looks like that these days. That's not it. Find the right one for calculatrice. Numéro 2. Il fait chaud. Which picture shows that weather? J'aime la musculation. Have a little look and see if you can work out which picture's which. Oh, I'm going to give you one mark because we're doing this in the final week. C is this one here. There you go. So we have not done directions yet. We're going to do it. Some of you would have done it if you're in school over Corona. There we go. So that's the one there. And also we haven't done il seras, but I know you can work it out because it's a bit like the English word. So there we go, guys. See what you can do. Tick the right one. That's activity one. Et partie B, c'est comme ça. 
here you've got a girl called Aurélie and she's going through what she's doing at each time so all you need to do is from the pictures you need to put the right letter to say what activity she's talking about in the sentence here let's look at the example à 16 heures je regarde la télé so je regarde la télé as i watch tv so they put c here so first thing to do cross out c that's not coming up you're gonna whoops you're gonna have to read through all these sentences and say what picture it matches so i'm gonna go through now a is eating burger and chips mm. b is having a shower and doing her makeup so like getting ready um c's gone d is obviously reading but look it's got napoleon in it so something to do with history maybe homework reading having a history lesson something to do with history is d e they're shopping f uh she's hanging out with a boy or describing a boy or maybe a brother or something g is obviously gymnastics and then h is partying and dancing away so that's what you need to do read through what does she talk about once you've used them cross them out there's seven pictures and six sentences so you'll be left with one one's a red herring hello mes petits now we move on to a much harder activity we're into part two so now we're up to amber difficulty so listen really carefully as i go through what you need to do so for this one you've got the sentences down here and then you've got these things here english video clips mobile teachers and then you've got the opinion over the top so remember what i said right don't read the question first look at the answers and see what you can work out so the first thing i do with this year seven is you see all these opinions up here a b c d e f g and h i'd write the french next to them so what's the word for boring there's two one starts with a b bar and the other one starts with an on we how do you say it i'd write those two words there how do you say essential very similar how do you say interesting what's the word for easy it starts with an f fast see what you can do i'd write all those words in there and then you see down here i'd make sure i knew these words that i was looking for so how do you say english how do you say video clips how do you say teachers once i prepared a little bit then i'd read these sentences and see what we've got so here's our example example j'aime faire du camping c'est super so camping is this picture of tents and then super they've ticked great look at the next one can we go in green j'aime mes profs ils sont gentils so what are les profs does it mean monuments does it mean shopping does it mean teachers it means one of those and then what is gentil which one of those would that match to does it mean interesting I don't think so if it's talking about your teachers see what you can do see what you can tick guys so for whichever one it is give it a tick so that is what you need to do here it's a lot tougher today see what you can do et voilà this next one here i love this activity and you know what every year year sevens drop loads of marks on it so what you've got is over here just like we do this it's for starters it says match up the questions and the answers draw a line to link them if you don't want to do lines because you're working in your book just write the number and then put the right letter next to it to be honest that's a lot easier so over here you've got some questions here you've got answers you've got to match them up so look at the first one et the example sorry et tu sportif are you sporty so I look down all the answers and they've matched it to B. Oui, je fais du jogging et du vélo. Je vais à la piscine suivant. So that is the answer to this. Now it doesn't say, yes, I am sporty. It's all about your vocabulary. So you've got to know jogging is jogging. Vélo is cycling. Piscine is swimming pool. So that matches to B. So cross out B. Have a look at our next question. It says, qu'est-ce que tu aimes au collège? Look down here what would be the answer to that you need to match up our questions with our answers today guys this is where it gets really really tough Allons, mes petits. <coughs> we're now into red difficulty this is where you'll need to use your tactics and you'll need to pick out what you know so it says here who's written the messages below on the blog write the name of the correct person so Samir, Nadia, Aurélie, Amandine, 
they've all told you something they like, which is our first column, and something they don't like, which is our second column. Then over here, where the question is, you've got a sentence. J'aime le pulé, c'est délicieux, je déteste le poisson. Okay, so who says what thing? You have to write the name of the person on this line. Let's look at the example to help us out. Donc, avec mes amis, j'aime aller au centre de loisirs. Mais pour moi, aller au centre whoops, commercial, c'est ennuyeux. Qui veut dire en anglais? With my friends, I like going to the leisure centre. But for me, going to the shopping centre is boring. So if you look at her sheets, here we go. In the like column, she's got leisure centre. In the sad column, she's got shopping centre. So you write Rashid on this line and get rid of her. She ain't coming up again. There we go. Well, he isn't coming up again. Voilà, le premier, c'est fini. Alors, donc, numéro 1, le Kigen. J'aime le pulet, c'est délicieux. Je déteste les poissons. Who says that? We've done our foods. See if you can work it out. Now, let me give you a little cheeky hint here, year seven. Be careful. Look at number six. They don't always say it in the right way. Order, be careful, make sure you're looking out for our opinion verbs. Guys, this is going to be so tough today. Good luck on this one. You can only use each person once. So once you've used them, cross them out. This is red difficulty. Et voilà, another red difficulty activity, year seven. Now, this one is so tough. Do you see at the bottom, ici, you've got some potential words. For this bit here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, here you've got a sentence and you need to complete it with one of the words in here according to the text up here. So we're going to read through Marie and what she says about herself and then choosing the words down here, you're going to complete the sentences over here. So let's look at the first one together. Her favourite lesson is, so she says, je n'aime pas l'informatique et je déteste le géo parce que le prof est trop sévère. That's not her favorite lesson so far. She says, I don't like IT. I hate geography because the teacher's too strict. But then she says, j'adore la musique. C'est génial. So, have a little look down here. Which word are you going to use to complete that? Then, when she's at home, she likes to what? Here's at home, à la maison. And here's our answer. What does that mean? What word down here are you going to use to complete the sentence, guys? This is the last one in red difficulty today. This is a tough one. Allô, mes petits. What's worse than red difficulty? Gold difficulty. Now, this is beyond what a year seven should be able to do. Have a little look. Donc, c'est difficulté. Oh, this is what you need to do here. You're going to read what Ibrahim, down here, Emmeline, and Luik say about themselves. Who says what? Tick the correct columns. Over here, you've got the names, and then you've got these sentences. Before you read this text over here, I want you to read the sentences first to get in your head what you're looking for and the possibilities. So, I often go to concerts. Do you know the word for often? If you do, you're going to get that mark. I like singing. What's that word for singing? What is it? The verb. I play guitar. What do you reckon? Who? How do you say that? Who's it going to be? Now, you've got to be really, really careful in this activity because it's full of traps. And sometimes you'll think two people match it, but they can't. Each person matches to two things. And only one person can match each uh, each row. So only one person often goes to concerts. Only one person likes singing. They're going to trick you. Let me show you an example of a trick. Look at number three. I play the guitar. And then look at Loïc. Mon copain, Lucas, joue de la guitare. What does that mean? My friend Lucas plays the guitar. Well, that's nice for his friend Lucas, but it's not Loïc, it's a trap, so you can't tick that. So therefore, you know, I play the guitar is between Ibrahim and Emmeline, and you need to read those carefully. This text is full of tricks and traps like that, which is why it's goal difficulty. So take your time, be cool, and remember, only two ticks per person. See if you can work it out.
Hello, mes petits. What's harder than red difficulty, gold difficulty? So this is the second to last, which knows the penultimate question. Let's have a little look at it. This is so tough today. So this here it says, read what Mohammed says about himself on his blog. Complete the sentences by ticking the correct box. We've seen these before. You've a sentence here, and then you've got one, two, three possibilities. You have to tick the right one. Let's look at the example. So he wants to what? Be a professional footballer, be a professional dancer, or work in a restaurant. Now we know the answer. Let's have a look and find out why. So here we go. Je voudrais être joueur de foot professionnel. I would like to be a professional football player. You literally say in French, player of football professional. So even though you didn't know this vocabulary, you could have worked that out. And the next one. The stadium is, so you need to find the word stadium. And then it says this, derrière le collège, il y a un stade. So, whereabouts is that? You need to tick the right one. Does derrière le collège mean in front of the shopping center? Does it mean between the shopping center and the school? Or does it mean behind the school? See which one it is and give it a tick. Now this is full of a known language that you have to work out but it's nothing you can't handle take your time see what you can do <coughs> i've got a little hint for you as well for the latter ones here he is going to start he is going to eat he is going to he is going to to say i am going you need a verb ali je vais is i'm going and then it'll have the verb. So I'm going to eat, je vais manger. So you need to wait until you say, je vais manger. So look up here, here's the trap. Je mange beaucoup de crudité, un peu de crêpe et de glace. So I eat lots of crudités like cut up vegetables and a few pancakes and ice creams. Lovely, or few pancakes and ice creams. But here, je n'aime pas beaucoup le beyond me. Je vais manger plus de poisson. So, He's going to eat what? Look at this bit here in orange and yellow. Je mange beaucoup de crudité. And then look at, let's change the color to make it obvious, this bit in green. Je vais manger plus de poisson. So what is he going to eat? Which one of these is I am going? Is it je mange or je vais manger? You need to take the right one. Guys, this is proper GCC French. Don't worry if you find this tough, this is a really good challenge for you today. Allo mi petit, et the final one. This question is pure extra challenge and it is so tough. I reckon, yeah, in this, you don't know 90% of the words and it is a level four challenge. Now, level four is an old GCC grade C. And you might say, sir, I don't want a C for GCC, and I'd agree with you. But this, yeah, is for you in year seven. So it is far beyond what you should be able to do. But I know, year seven, you legends, you'll be able to have a go at this, and I'll be happy with just one mark out of six. If you get one out of six, it means you'd be able to pick up a mark on a GCC paper, which a year seven shouldn't be able to do. So it is a real good activity. This is what you need to do then. It says, read what Marie, Saïd and Noemi have written. Here they are. Look how long their texts are. Then answer the question by writing the correct name. So you either write Marie, Saïd or Noemi for each one. So let's go through our tactics, guys. First thing, you need to read the question. Who is going to visit the zoo in the holidays? So how do you say, I am going? Who has visited a large zoo? What's the difference between these two? This is going to visit, so you need je vais. And this is who has visited in the past. Who has visited the Louvre? You need to work these out, guys. Read through these and put the name of the person here. This is going to be so tough. Let's call this extra challenge only. There's so much unknown vocabulary here, guys. One out of six would be your target. So you can see how tough this assessment is. And that's because even though the assessment's tough, this is where we expect a year seven to be. Here's our year seven grades. There we go. From 1.1 down to T1. And look, 
to get what we expect you to get in year seven, you need fewer than half marks. So you can drop like three marks every question and still get a really, really strong grade. If you're past that line, you've done exceptionally well today. So guys, this is what it looks like. I've been through the assessment. I've explained it all to you, so hopefully you're ready. If you turn to an activity now and you're doing this and you don't understand something, you can just watch the video for that question and see what you've got. You have. So you've got 40 minutes to do this assessment today, guys. I want you to put this video on pause for 40 minutes and work through each activity. You can put a timer on your phone to see what you can do. Now, if you do want to spend more than 40 minutes on this, fine, it's, it's down to you. This is your assessment. This is how you want to run it. See what you can do and give it your everything. If you don't understand an activity when we come to it, just rewind the video and watch, watch what it says about it and then have another go and see. Then when you're done and you've done everything you can, restart the video, yeah, and I go through the answers have a little look through, mark your work, and we'll break it down bit by bit by bit to see what you've got. Hello, Year 7. Bon courage. I'll see you in 40 minutes' time. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Hello, mes petits. If you listen to me now, then... You have completed our reading assessment and you're ready for the answers. Well done. This was so tough and we do we do give you things a lot higher and more challenging than what you'd get at other schools, but it's just good for you to be pushed just seven. I know some of you will have done really well on the harder questions. So let's have a little look. Hello, le premier. <laughs> C'est une calculatrice was C. This is our calculator over here. Numéro 2, c'est la météo, il fait chaud, is B. Do you remember I told you that story about the taps? And in France, the tap with the C on it means hot because it stands for chaud. And the cold tap has got an F on it because it's froid for cold. And I always used to just mix it up because I'd always look at the tap with C. And just after years and years and years of thinking that's the cold tap, in France, I'd always turn it on, make myself a squash and it'd be disgusting and warm. So chaud means hot, froid is cold. Well done if you got that. Numéro 3, j'aime la musculation is ah This picture of me here. Numéro 4, I gave you this. C'est à doigt, means it's right. Il se rase. Now you've not learned this, but I know you legends can work it out because rase looks a bit like the word razor, which is shaving, and that's what il se rase means. He's shaving himself. So, rasé is to shave, and a razor is what you use to shave. Et finalement, il y a un stade. Again, another one we've not learned, but stade looks like stadium, and that's what it is. Right, guys, give yourself a mark out of six for our first challenge. Bon effort ici, mes petits. Let's look at challenge number two. Et voilà, let's link them up then. What is Aurélie doing today? So, numéro un, à neuf heures car je fais mes devoirs d'histoire, so devoir means homework, histoire is history, <coughs> so it's D, this picture with Napoleon in it, D is our answer, numéro 2, à 10h30, j'ai un corps de gymnastique, this is your clue, number 2 is G, mark these up with your stylo rouge mes petits, alors, numéro 3, à 13h, je vais au café avec Luc, il est grand, très beau, et charmant. So she's talking about Luke. She says il est. So she's describing a boy. So it's got to be F. Right, guys. Three marks so far. Remember, make sure you're marking these up with a red pen. Numéro 4. Another one we've not looked at. Je me douche et je me maquille is going to be B. Um, je me douche, so I have a shower. Je me maquille. Maquillage is your makeup. Alors, numéro 5. À 22 h Je danse avec mes copines. It's got to be H. At 10 o'clock, I'm out dancing with my friends. Et finalement, numéro 6. À 11h, je mange un hamburger frit. Bit late for that. She's eating hamburger and chips. Beautiful. Right, guys. Mark them up. Give yourself another mark out of 6 for activity 2. Hello, right. I warned you about this activity and I said the difficulty was just picking up that little bit. Let's have a look at what we've got. So it doesn't quite go in order. I'm going to go through it in the order up here. So number one is talking about English and it matches to this one here. Je n'aime pas l'anglais, 
c'est difficile. So, I know anglais is English. There's no difficile up here. What's another way to say difficult? Something's difficult, it's hard. That's D. Numéro 2. I'm looking for video clips. This is going to match here. Avec mon ordi. J'adore regarder des clips vidéo. C'est intéressant, which matches to E. Interest, sorry, F. Interesting. Alors, numéro 2 is mobile or is phone. Where does it talk about phone? Remember, your phone, you used to call it, when you're old, a mobile phone. So, pour moi, mon portable est essentiel. So, it matches to H, essential. Alors, numéro 4, sort of gave this away, but I don't know if anyone clocked it. And numéro 4 uh, is talking about teachers. C'est j'ai mes profs, ils sont gentils. I like my teachers, they are nice or kind is what it matches to B. All right, two to go. There's three left here. We need to find shopping. We've got camping, monument, and it's this one here. Je n'aime pas faire les magasins avec mes parents. C'est nul. I don't like doing shopping with my parents. What does c'est nul mean? It's rubbish. Give yourself a mark if you got that. Et finalement, there's two left. Faire du camping was our example. So it's this one here. Je n'aime pas visiter les monuments. And then it says this. C'est ennuyeux. What does c'est ennuyeux mean? It's another way of saying it's boring. is what you need. Right, guys. This is a harder activity. Mark out a six for this, mes petits. And then let's move on to our next task. Alors, this question is really tough. And students always drop a load of marks on it. So let's go through it bit by bit. Remember, this is all just testing you. So it really doesn't matter if you've got the wrong answer today, Year 7. It's all about finding out what you're wrong about and improving. So let's look at the first one together. Qu'est-ce que tu aimes au collège? Ça veut dire en anglais. What do you like at school? So look down A to H. Where is it talking about school subjects? It's here. J'adore le français et les maths. Pour moi, les maths, c'est très facile. So, number one is F. Numéro 2. Comment es-tu? Which says, what are you like? It literally says, how are you? Like, what are you like? So, it's going to match to C. Je suis assez grand. Je suis drôle et assez modeste, given the description. Guys, if you got that, you've done really, really well. Numéro 3. Où aimes-tu aller en vacances? This is so tough. This is some French we've not seen. What do you think vacances? It sounds like an American word. We've got an English word for it. We say holidays. Americans say vacation and vacances means that. It means holidays. So where do you like going on holiday? So tough. Which one over these is a holiday destination? It's got to be H. Je préfère la campagne. On peut faire beaucoup d'activités sportives. Alors, numéro 4, another really tough one we've not seen. You had to work it out. Quels sont tes rêves? This verb rêve was one of our verbs of the week once. It means dreams. So this question is saying, what are your dreams? Just going to match to D. Je voudrais voyager et je voudrais rencontrer Barack Obama. So I'd like to travel and I'd like to see Barack Obama. Numéro 5, alors... Que fais-tu le samedi? What do you do on Saturday? So where's the typical Saturday activity? It's got to be G. Il n'y a pas de cas. There's no lessons. Alors je retrouve mes amis en ville. If you put E, I'll accept that as well. Because I can see that. Et finalement, uh, numéro 6. Comment est ta ville? What's your town like? So where's it talking about a town here? It's going to be this one. C'est très joli. Il y a des jardins et un château. Et voilà. Right, guys. This is so tough. I reckon if you got two out of six here, you've done really, really well. You saw the mark scheme. I think you can now appreciate why it's so easy to get a high grade. This was tough. We're just going to get tougher. Allo, mi petit. Now, we move on to red difficulty. How did you do on this task? Let's find out. Ah, Over here we've got our sentences then. You had to match it up to each person. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of Rachid. They are gone. Alors, donc, numéro 1 dit, j'aime le poulet. C'est délicieux. Which says, I like chicken. It's delicious. Je déteste le poisson. They like chicken. They hate fish. 
she's got to be Nadia is in so guys give yourself a mark if you're going for Nadia then cross her out the next one dans ma ville on peut faire l'équitation mais moi je n'aime pas les chevaux je préfère les promenades en barque oh it's two we don't know you do know équitation we've looked at this and they say je n'aime pas les chevaux is like the plural for horses so in my town you can do horse riding but I don't like horses. We've never done the next bit, but you don't need it. You can work it out. Who doesn't like horse riding is Antoine. And he does say, I prefer going on boat rides. And that is your answer, Antoine. Guys, you did really, really well if you got this. Make sure you're marking up with your red pen. Alors, la prochaine. Numéro 3 dit, j'adore le collège, surtout le français. So they like school, especially French. Mais je n'aime pas jouer aux jeux vidéo, which is this one here. It's got to be Samir. So get rid of Samir for me. Right, guys, free down. Now we get on to the really tough one. So let's neaten this up a bit. Have a little look and see who you've got left. These four are gone. Okay, Thomas, Aurélie, Amandine and Guillaume. Let's have a look at our next one together. Dans ma ville, le samedi, il y a un marché. J'aime ça. C'est chouette. Il y a un parc d'attractions aussi, mais c'est nul, right? This says, in my town on Saturday, there is a... So put the word super in front of it. Yeah, supermarket. Without super, it just means a market. So in my town on Saturday, there's a market. I like that. Who's got a market here? But then she says, il y a un parc d'attractions aussi, mais c'est nul. There's a, like a theme park also, but it's rubbish. So it's got to be... Aurélie, guys, well done if you got that. Loads of unknown language. Take Aurélie out. We now got Thomas, Amandine, and Guillaume. So, let's see what we got for our next one. J'habite au bord de la mer. Mes parents font de la voile, mais moi je n'aime pas ça. We have seen this word this year. Do you know what it is? She says, c'est ennuyeux. Moi, j'adore nager. Guys, this is so tough. So, we've got uh like a shop and dancing we've got a swimming pool and sailing and we've got seasides and mountains so what did you work out if you had a choice between one and three what are you gonna go for so this bit here la voile is sailing and they say my parents do sailing but me i don't like that they don't like sailing because it's boring me i love Swimming. This is Guillaume, people. So well done. I know it's hard to say this word. It looks crazy. English people say like Guillaume. It's Guillaume. Et donc, finalement, à la sonne numéro 6, c'est ça, Vélec. Je n'aime pas aller à la montagne. Je préfère aller au bord de la mer. So, we're down to two. Even if you don't know these, you know danse and danser is to dance. Does it say danse and danser in here? No way. So it's got to be... Thomas, right guys, a really, really tough red difficulty here. Anything over two is a very good score. Give yourself a mark out of six for me. And let's have a look at another red difficulty year seven. Et voilà. Oh, this one was so tough. Let's break it down bit by bit by bit. So, first up, her favourite lesson is... Let's have a look, little look through. So, we looked at this together. She says... Je n'aime pas l'informatique. I don't like IT. Et je déteste les JO parce que le prof est trop sévère. And I hate geography because my teacher is too strict. Must have Miss Roberts. But then they say, j'adore la musique. C'est génial. So her favorite lesson is, look down here, you've got a choice of geography. Any other lessons? Music. And it is, music is your answer. Well done if you got that. Then it says, when she's at home, she likes to. Oh, use the same colour. So what I do is look in this box. What activities can you do at home? You can't do windsurfing. I say go online, download music, and that's it. You've just got a choice of those two. Yeah, you can't do any of the rest of this at home. So what does she say about when she's at home? À la maison, je surf souvent sur le net. And then she says this. This is the trap. Je ne peux pas télécharger de musique. Je ne peux pas, it was on your post-it note challenge right at the start of this lesson. What did it mean? 
I can't download music. What does she do? Je surf suivant sur une surnet. So she surfs or goes on the internet. That's the answer, guys. Well done if you got that. If you got trapped, unlucky. All right, numéro toi. <coughs> she thinks her town is. So let's look through. What can she say about her town? She thinks her town is hiking. No, it doesn't make sense. It's got to be either too big or too small. Okay, so let's have a look. J'habite dans une ville. C'est très joli, mais c'est trop petit. What does the word petit mean? Big or small? It means small. And that's the answer, guys. Well done if you got this. You might not have known all this vocabulary, but you know the word petit and applied it here. Well done. Alors, numéro 4. She would like to have a what in her town. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the possibilities. She would like to have her to the seaside. Makes no sense. She would like to have a windsurfing in her town. No, she would like to have a hike in. It's got to be she'd like to have a leisure centre or she'd like to have a shopping centre in her town. Let's read on and see what it is. Um, je voudrais, I would like, habiter dans une grande ville avec un grand centre de loisirs. What's the centre de loisir? A centre of loisir is leisure. She wants to have a leisure centre in her town. Guys, well done if you got that. Okay, two, two, two left. She usually goes what on holiday? So let's go through, let's grab some colours. She usually goes to the countryside or to the seaside. She usually goes windsurfing on holiday. She usually goes hiking on holiday. Oh, you can have any of those four. Let's read on. Okay, so... Uh, J'aime aller au bord de la mer, mais chaque année nous allons à la campagne. So I like going to the seaside, but every year we go à la campagne is to the countryside. And finally, she would like to try what? So we'll go purple with this. Um, we've only got a few left to the countryside is gone. We'll get rid of that. So she would like to try either hiking or she can't try to the seaside. She'd like to try either hiking or windsurfing. Which one is it? Nous faisons de la rando et du camping. C'est chouette, mais je voudrais. Remember that from our post and note challenge. What did je voudrais mean? I would like to try la planche à voile. This is... Hiking or windsurfing. It is windsurfing. Well done if you got that. If you didn't, don't worry. Again, all of these red and gold difficulty, two out of six is an amazing mark. Mark up your work, put on your work how many you've got. Bon effort, you see me petit. Hello, me petit. We're now on to gold difficulty so i think two out of six on gold difficulty will be a really good score i think a lot of you won't get two out of six i wouldn't really worry about that in year seven these are so tough they're well beyond year seven difficulty and we've had corona as well so you've been away from school so it's even tougher let's go for our answers then so number one says i often go to concerts if you know the word often you've got it if you look through it's gonna be here je vais souvent au concert j'adore ça loic is our first answer and then i like singing so what's our verb to sing it's gonna be chanter now you see this verb a few times look over here this is a trap ibrahim says je n'aime pas Chanter. I don't like singing. The actual answer is Emmeline here. She says, J'ai une petite sorte de musique. Mon frère joue de la guitare et moi je chante. Emmeline is our answer for the next one. Okay, so who plays guitar? They all talk about it. Look over here. Loic says the word guitar. Does he play it? He says, Mon copain Luca joue de la guitare. His friend Lucas plays guitar, but not him. So it's not him there. It says over here, Emmeline says the same thing. Mon frère joue de la guitare. My brother plays guitar, but I sing. Therefore, the one who plays guitar is going to be over here. Je joue de la guitare. It is Ibrahim for number three. Right, you see how tricky it is. All three of them talk about playing guitar, but only Ibrahim says, I play it. This is so tough. All right, let's move on. I like to hang out in town with my friends. So, 
they all talk about their friends for this one. Here we go. It says mes amis here. What does Ibrahim do? J'ai mal au café. I like going to the coffee shop. And then New Zealand au parc d'attraction. So I wouldn't say it was him. I like to hang out with my friends in town. Here we've got hanging out in town with my friends. But before that, Emmeline says in the evening, je ne peux pas. This was a post-it note phrase. What did it mean? I can't. In the evening, I can't hang out with my friends, but I send a text to them. Therefore, our answer's got to be Loic. And he says, ce que j'aime, what I like, c'est traîner avec, en ville avec mes copains. Here's your answer. Guys, that one was so sneaky with Emmeline. If you got it, well done. Alors, numéro 5. I don't like the giant slide. What the hell? So... Think of a word that looks like a slide is this one, toboggan. If you go on a toboggan, it's like that thing you sit on going down like a bobsleigh, like a toboggan. However, I don't like the giant slide. Loic says, le toboggan géant est super bien. The giant slide is super cool. So it's not Loic. No one else talks about a giant slide. Here we go. Here he is. Le toboggan Giant et nul. So the massive slide is rubbish. So Ibrahim's the one who hates the giant slide. And finally, I text my friends all the time. So I said it before, she can't hang out with her friends, but she says, J'envoie des SMS tout le temps. I send texts all the time. Emmeline is our answer. Right, guys, if you got two out of six on that, you've done an amazing job. Bon effort. Let's look at our next final challenge today. Hello, year seven. This is a GCSE style question. On the GCSE paper, obviously we didn't sit it this year because um, Corona, but last year on that GCSE question would be a question just like this, of this difficulty. And that is for 16 year olds. You are not quite there yet, guys. So if you can get one out of six on this text, I'll be really impressed. Any more than one, You've done amazing, or you've probably just guessed. Any one of one would be amazing on this. Let's go for it. I'm going to show you the answers. Now, even if you get zero, listen up, because when I break it down, I bet you're going, oh, I should have got that. I would have got that if you told me that, sir. So listen up. I'm sure you all could get at least one mark on this when I break it down for you. So this is where you need to be in four years time. Let's see what we've got. So first off, the stadium is now what you need to do first is read through all the possibilities in English in front of the shopping centre. So how do you say shopping centre? Between the school and the shopping centre, behind the school. Then it says here, derrière le collège, il y a un stade. Behind the school, there is a stadium. So it is C that you need here. Well done if you got it. Alors numéro 2, he is now going to train. Now this is tough. He's now going to train. Let's look at it and look at the trick that they've done. Normalement, je joue au foot une fois par semaine et je vais à la piscine deux fois par semaine. So normally, I play football once a week and I go to the swimming pool twice a week. Maintenant, which means now. You should know that as I say it in the lesson a hundred times. Maintenant, 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 now, je vais m'entraîner tous les jours. Now, I'm going to train all the days. He's going to train every day. Do you see how they've tried to trick you? She says he plays football once a week and he goes swimming twice. But he, he says, now I'm going to train every single day. If you got that, you've done really well. Hello, numéro toi. He's going to start. Okay, so he says, je n'aime pas le jogging. I don't like jogging. Mais je vais aussi faire de la musculation. I'm also going to do musculation. Weight training is what you need, guys. Brilliant if you got that. All right, this is so tough. Let's move on to number four. He is going to eat. Attention, he is going to. Look at the trap. Je mange beaucoup de crudité et peu de crêpes et de glace. Seulement une fois par semaine. I eat lots of veg. And not many crepe or ice creams, only once a week. So crepe and glass are sweet things. He's going to eat fewer sweet things? No, 
he does that now he says he already doesn't eat a lot of them only once a week what's he going to do je vais manger plus de poisson i'm going to eat plus de poisson what is a poisson i'm going to eat more fish is what you need guys phenomenal if you got that all right you're doing well remember i just want one in six if you've already got your one you can sit there sit back and be proud let's see what you've got when you more sank in the evening he is going to it's another he is going to so he says me and my friends nous allons danser en ville le weekend et tous les soirs je passe des heures à jouer aux jeux vidéo so going dancing he says he's going to do at the weekend the question says in the evening which is here tous les soirs in the evenings je passe des heures à jouer des jeux vidéo in the evenings he plays video games guys if you put dancing unlucky that was the trap today they tried to trick you don't worry if you fell for that et finalement à last one in the february holidays what's he going to do now what's he going to do there's another trap here he says en février in february d'habitude usually avec ma famille on va à la montagne pour faire du ski that's what he usually does what is he going to do he says je vais aller chez mes grands-parents à la campagne pour faire de la rando so he's going to do walks with his grandparents rather than going skiing guys if you put skiing i feel bad for you but c is the answer today right guys one out of six will be brilliant for this and year seven just like the listening what i want you to do is add up your marks and give yourself a grand total remember we said that the year seven levels are here this is what we want you're going to be between t1 and 1.1 this is where we'd expect year seven to be anywhere along this bit of the line in black anything above is slightly above average well done um we'll see where you are in year eight so this is what it looks like but it really doesn't matter about your grade today what is so important is think about how you were in september and the french you can do now now times that by four and well even more because you have more lessons as you get older that's how good you'll be you've made so much progress and done so well this year i'm really really proud of your efforts and what you've done hello year seven and that is it for the year can you believe it year seven french is over it's been an absolute pleasure teaching you legends this year i've had some really good times just thinking about it just like looking back over the year and the laughs i've had with you guys it's been a great really enjoy being your teacher hopefully i'll teach you next year but i only have time to teach two classes a year in each year group so hopefully it'll be you guys if i teach you again next year can't wait for it if i don't um, maybe in year nine or year 10 or year 11 guys so i look forward to seeing you all again a brilliant brilliant effort guys i hope you have an amazing summer and that you're safe and you come back in september ready to learn and ready to push yourself again bon vacances mes petits i'll see you à la rentrée au revoir bon vacances